Hey guys, Thomas Asuda Jr. aka Mustache Tom here to review the man from Uncle. And I gotta say, I'm disappointed in this movie. I went in thinking that this movie was gonna be a new, fresh, original movie with a whole bunch of action, comedy, and just all that good stuff. And I came out asking, man, where is the action? It's all the way at the end. Where is the comedy? It's barely in this movie. Just, there are two bits in this movie that I even remotely smirked at. Not even full on, even chuckling or laughing, but just, it's getting there, but not quite. And I think one of the main problems with this movie, and there are quite a few that I could point out, is that the movie just jumps in expecting people to know what is going on on without any pre sort of storytelling like who are these characters what's going on it's just a car chase at the beginning of the movie and you know in a way it does sort of work but it also holds the movie back because i don't know what's going on especially if you start it from that point if you just jump in and just say this guy's chasing these two people you're like what and Here's where the movie gets even worse for me is the characters. The characters are so surprisingly boring. Um, these two characters that we follow here, the American and the British guy, um, what I felt is that they're not even cliches. They are fractions of cliches. The American guy has like this one complex where he's like, oh, I'm above everyone else, blah, blah, blah. And that's his entire character. And that's a shame because there was so much potential in this and, you know, how you can make fun of Americans and the American cliches. There are so many factors in there. And since this movie takes place in the 60s, there is an opportune time to really just let those cliches be even more impressive instead of hold, what seems to be holding back. The same goes for the British guy. He seems to only have a fraction of what I think, again, it's just a fraction of a character. It's just he gets angry, and that's his entire character, it just seems to me, from what I've seen. And the girl is also just, I don't even know what her role is to be in love with one of them and pretend to be in love with the other one. I think that was her role. Um, uh, I'm not entirely sure because I kind of zoned out in the middle of the movie because there was so much talking and discussion and plans and the action was so far in between each section. It's like it should have been the other way around. And here's the thing. I did want this movie to sort of succeed in a weird sort of way because it felt like a new original, well not original, but like a new movie that could create a new franchise, which it did seem like the ending was going towards, just like a new sort of sequel or something, and it just falls short for me. I mean, I, I guess other people really enjoyed it. Uh, I do say that the end of the movie does get really interesting and actually does pick up, but it just takes so long to get there. And, you know, if you're just holding on to making your end strong and the rest of your movie sort of have little peaks instead of having it be interesting, it just sort of falls flat for me um, in that regard. Um, and here's the thing is that you know what this guy should do, who, the director, whoever was directing this, and people who are watching this, go back to watching something like Rush Hour. I can't believe I am saying that, but Rush Hour is the same concept done so much better than this. And it really is the same concept. Two guys who are sort of agents, well, they're not necessarily spies, but they're sort of agents in the field. They don't get along, they come from two different backgrounds, and they do the cliches, yes, but they do them to the extremes. They don't pull any punches, in this, like in this movie. 
I mean, there are some interesting camera stuff that they have going on. There's this one scene toward the end where they'd have this whole comic book thing set up, and it does seem really interesting. That's the part where I started going, hmm, this looks actually pretty fun and entertaining. Yeah, but the rest of the movie just didn't have that for me. I mean, there were a few scenes that here and there, like this pole boat scene where the American guy was just watching the other guy struggle to get out. Again, these really small moments that happen in the movie, like the like this other scene where um they have this guy held up and they're arguing with each other, and then he like bur the guy who's uh, in the chair like burst combust into flame combust into flames. These scenes, there are only three that I can think of. Those are the only three things I thought, yeah, that's pretty funny, yeah. Um, but again, it's only three things like in this entire movie, and that's such a shame. Like there's, there's so much potential. I think there's so much more potential here. So I'm gonna give this a low three or four out of ten very in between that low low score and I can't believe I have to give it that low score because I kind of had high hopes for this again first in what seems is going to be like a sequel like a movie that's going to have a sequel so three or four out of ten that's my opinion sort of it, it, it does sort of fall flat and well We'll see what happens. So, with that being said, if you like this video and uh, everything else I've been doing, please like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Thomas Asuo Jr., aka Mustache Tom, and I'll see you guys next time.